Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how we can make some fun holiday ornaments and these are cinnamon ornaments. So these are really fun to make because they make your house smell really good and they last a really long time if you take care of them. So let's see how we can make them. But first let's make sure we have everything ready. So we'll need our paint from our kits. So we have green, red, and white. A paintbrush some water to clean your paintbrush, maybe some paper towel. We want to make sure we have paper covering our surface so we don't get paint anywhere. And of course we want to make sure we have our ornaments. So in your kits you will have a star, a tree, and a gingerbread person. And your kits will have ribbon on them. As good as these ornaments look, they are not for eating. They look a lot like cookies when they're all decorated, but you don't want to eat these. So let's roll up our sleeves and get ready to paint. So we'll start with the first one, which is the gingerbread person. So I'll show you one design that you can do. So for our gingerbread man, I'm going to start by getting my brush and getting some white paint so that I can do the face. So I'm going to start with the eyes. So I'm just going to do two circles. Okay, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the white again and I'm gonna do some buttons. So there's one, two, three buttons. Okay, and then I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna use some red paint and I'm gonna do some lines here to make a scarf. So I'm gonna do a line or a little blob of circle paint there and then I'm going to skip a little bit and then do another one because later I'll fill in that empty space with green so that I can have a red and green scarf. Okay so I'm going to go just all along the neck here and then I'm going to bring it down a little bit because when we have scarves on sometimes they hang down a bit so I'll keep going down like that and I'm going to wash my brush Take some green paint and fill in the area where there wasn't paint with green so that I have a nice red and green scarf. There we go. Then I think I will take some more green. Then I think I'll take some red and do some pants here. like the edge of our pants. So because these cookies are really dry, sometimes it's hard to really get the paint in there, so you want to use a good amount of paint and really brush it in any cracks you might have. And if there are cracks, that's okay, because your nice paint designs will make them not noticeable. And there we go, we have our fun dressed up gingerbread person. So next let's do the tree. So on the other side, I painted it all green and I did some little lines of white. I think I'm gonna do something different for this side. So instead, I'm gonna paint my tree all white, just like it had just snowed and this tree is all covered in snow.
And I'm just gonna use my brush and paint it all white. Okay, and I'm gonna leave this little piece down here still brown so it looks like the trunk of the tree. Okay, so now we have that all nice and painted white. So I'm gonna let that dry and when I come back, I'm gonna do some more decorations on it. Okay, so now my tree is all dried and ready to go. So for this, I think I'm gonna take some red and I think I'll just make some fun little lines. Some little zigzag lines that look like they're decorating the tree. Okay, and then I'm gonna wash my brush again, and I'll take some green paint this time. And I think I'll do some dots that look like ornaments, maybe. Okay, there you go. So the last ornament we'll do is our star. So for the star, I'm gonna use my paintbrush and paint the whole thing white. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my brush and just start painting all of the star white. If you had yellow paint and you wanted to do a yellow star, that would look really nice too.
Okay, so now I have my star all painted. So I'm gonna let it dry for a minute before I do any designs on the top. So I'm gonna take some green paint on my brush and I think I'm gonna write my name and the year. So I'm gonna take my brush and write my name. And then I'm going to write the year, and the year is 2020, so I'm going to make a two. I think I'll just do some green dots. So now we finished our star. So I put my name and the year so that a long time from now I can look back at all my ornaments and remember the time that I made this because these ornaments can last a long time and they're really fun to look back on. So we finished painting all our three ornaments. Now if you want, you guys will still have the flip side that you can do some decorations on. So we can look at some of the other ornaments that I did and you can get some more ideas for how you want to paint the other side. you guys had fun today and I hope whether you celebrate the holidays or not I hope you have a really good winter you're staying warm and having a great day thanks for watching bye